Bare Knuckle FC 5. Main event, Jason Knight against Artem Lobov. One of the bloodiest, most gruesome battles you have ever seen in any form of combat sports. In the end, the Russian Hammer, the GOAT, Artem Lobov wins in his BKFC debut. He wins via decision. I am afraid to see his face, but I can't wait to talk to him. There he is. Artem, my man. How are you? What a legend. How are you, Artem? What's up, Ariel? I'm good. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. How are you feeling, Artem? Well, I feel great. You know, uh, uh, obviously, you know, I'm a little bit messed up, but uh, this is just the name of the fight game. And that's why I really wanted to tune in on video. You know, I want people to see what it takes to be a fighter. You know, many people uh, leave many different comments there. So that's what it's like, guys. You know, it's not easy. Yeah, and I appreciate you doing this via Skype. I know we had the issues last week, but it's so great to see you again. Um, can you see out of your eyes, Artem? Yeah, I can see. I can see just fine. Okay. How many stitches? I don't know. Probably around 30, I'd say. Okay. Uh, is it fair to say that you've you've never had this kind of damage after any of your MMA fights before? Uh, I mean, in terms of the stitches, probably, yeah, it is fair to say. But in terms of damage, I've had some serious damage after my MMA fights. That's for sure. And And physically on this Monday... Like, are you are you okay or are you in a lot of pain? No, I don't have any pain, to be honest. I mean, this is just a few cuts and, and I got a bang on the nose. So that's what made the eyes swell up. But actually, I feel fine. My hands are not broken. They're a little bit bruised, as you can see. But, you know, I, I feel good. You know, I'm ready to go again. I cannot wait to get my hands on my Lenage. The fight itself, that experience, doing that for the first time, bare knuckle. Did you enjoy that? Was that something that you had fun doing? I absolutely loved it. I, I truly, I just, I just love fighting, you know, and this was the kind of fight that I, that I love, you know, it was all action uh, for 10 minutes straight. My kind of fight, you know, fair play to Jason, you know, I honestly did not think that uh, he would be able to take as many shots and keep on coming, but he did, uh, he did great, you know, he's a tough, tough kid. Uh, hats off to him, uh, he's earned my respect for life. Did you enjoy that experience, like fighting BKFC with those rules more so than an MMA fight? I love all the fights. I love them all. <laughs> right. Um, in, in that fight, I was actually going to ask you about that. Like, uh, is there any point where you recall talking to yourself and saying, like, what do I have to do to put this man away? Uh, to be honest, a little bit. And that's why when I seen him, because I dropped him about four times in that fight. Yeah. So I, th that's when I was like really pushing for it. And I was like, right, just let me put a little more on my shots. And then I made the mistake that many fighters do make. I started loading on my shots. And when you start loading on your shots, they actually, they get slower, they don't uh, have as much power on them, and they tire you out as well. And as a result, I kind of got a little bit uh, uh, tired then in the fifth round. But but it's all good, you know, it's another learning experience. I got the win uh, and I put on uh, one of the best fights uh, from what I'm hearing. Yeah, and, and so, like, you said that your hands didn't break. Clearly, they're not broken, but a little bit swollen. How do they feel, like, in the midst of it all, is there any point where you're like, gosh... I'd like to use some other weapons here. Like, how, how do the knuckles and the hands feel in the midst of that 25-minute fight? I honestly thought that my hands were shattered. I thought <laughs> that my hands were shattered during the fight, but actually they weren't. Wow. Uh, they're all swollen. Hands were covered in blood. I knocked out four of his teeth, and uh, and he beat my hand. Well, obviously not, not on purpose, but uh, yeah, I had a big gash on my hand. Uh, but it was good. You know, it was all good. That You know, you're in a fight. That's what it's like to be in a fight. There you go. That's a picture of me I mean, straight after the fight before they cleaned me up. So, uh, uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah, I I'd mean, say that was the Halloween mask. You know, Artem, we've talked about the goat stuff in in the past, but like, like, how do you not respect that, right? I mean, that is an iconic photo right there. That that will be your legacy. This photo is going to be your legacy, and and I feel like the 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 jokes are actually starting to go away and like you are truly earning the respect of of the community the fight community and i don't think that you are really seeking that but have you noticed that like just since this fight the last two days the love that you are getting is pretty amazing i i honestly don't care i just fight you know yeah. that that's my we have you know i i always said i've had true fans you know i have a handful of fans but we make a strong fist and like i said before we're gonna shut everybody's mouth with that fist uh, and it started already on Saturday, and we'll continue going forward. To the best of my knowledge, going into this fight, Artem, you had only had one fight that went five rounds. That was the Cub Swanson fight, right? Yep. Um, I would That's imagine cool. you felt a lot different after this one than you did the Cub Swanson fight, correct? 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I was really sorry after Cup Swanson's fight. He, he kicked me in the head a few times. Uh, you know what I mean? He, he was not a, was not an easy fight as well. But the victory makes it makes all the difference. Yeah. Um. And you said that you 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 felt like your hands were shattered. Was that early in the fight? Was that was that bothering you early or towards the end? Ah, no. It's, it's, it doesn't bother me. You know, it's I, they just felt sore. But that's not something that's gonna prevent me from not throwing my hands or prevent me from uh, not putting all the power into my my shots. That doesn't matter. Well, so what? A bit of pain? Come on, just get me a plaster and let's go again. <laughs> and are are you flying home today? Yes, I'm flying home now. As soon as I get off the phone with you, I have to go to the airport, New Orleans. I, I actually wanted to go down there yesterday to explore New Orleans, but I was just too tired and ended up falling asleep and yeah. never really did that. I don't, I don't blame you. But um, did they say like, like, will you, will your head hurt on, on the plane with the pressure? Any worries there? No, you see, that's that's what people don't understand. Well, when you actually look at the at the research, and this is the reason why amateur boxing, the head guards were removed. Yes, it looks a lot worse because obviously you get cut up a lot easier when you don't have the protection. But in terms of brain damage, this is a lot, a lot safer. And like I said, that's why they removed head guards in amateur boxing. And also another thing what you have to keep in mind, I only fought for 10 minutes. You know, in boxing, people fight for 36 minutes. In MMA, people fight for 25 minutes. Plus, they're getting kicked in the head, getting kneed in the head. You know, that's that's a lot worse for your brain than uh, than punches uh, with bare knuckles. So, yes, it looks, you know, really bad. But in terms of damage, this is a lot less damage than boxing fight or an MMA fight. Now that you've gone through a, a full experience with the promotion BKFC, what was it like? What was it like dealing with them? How did they treat you? Yeah, I mean, they, they treated me well. You know, of course, uh, uh, I enjoyed it. It was brilliant. You know, I, I like what they're doing. I love the show. I love the fights themselves. I watched a few fights live before my own fight, and it's great. It just that's what it's like, you know. Just get in there, you know. There's no need to stay in there for too long, you know. Ten mm -hmm. minutes, fight it all out, put on a great show for the fans, get paid, and go home. What did you make of the 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 owner, the promoter, uh, David Feldman, saying that he was going to take part of the one fighter's purse and give it to the opponent because he didn't fight? Do you, do you, do you like that? Do you think that's fair? Uh, well, I understand where he was coming from. He is just a fan. He is a huge fan of the sport. So when he sees one guy didn't want to engage, he was a little bit emotional and said that he was going to do that. But of course, uh, he is not going to do that, I, I believe. And he should. You know, to me, it's about, you know, they have a contract with the fighter and you have to, you know, honor the contract and pay him what, what it was promised. And if you don't like the way he fights, well, then just don't bring him in for the next show. But but there, you know, you have to pay him. And I think he did. So that that's all sort. So the week started off in, in a very interesting fashion, of course, in New York, Mendez, Jim, um, you and Polly, you get into this scrap. And I, I think that ended up being very good for the business on Saturday because it got you guys a lot of attention. Um, when, when that happened, when they brought you guys, I was not there, but when they brought you guys, what was your understanding? Like, what were you guys coming there to do? Um, which then, of course, led to the talking and the slap. But in your, in your mind, what are you coming there to do when they're bringing you that close? So, yeah, of course, we were there to promote the fight. I came in there alone. You know, I didn't have a training partner, nobody with me, literally, just me. That's it. On the way to the venue, the president of uh, Bernacle FC uh, says to me, look, Artem, please, you know, there, we don't want any physical, you know, contact. You know, you don't touch him, you know, uh, you know, he's going to do the same. Uh, you know, we have to be professionals. We have to show, you know, good representation of the sport. And I was like, look, uh, David, you don't have to, you know, say no more. You know, I'm a professional. I always have been. Uh, you know, I just want to fight in the ring. This is where you truly show who is a man and who is not a man. You know, all this outside bullshit. You know, I'm like, that's not for me. So, you know, I came in, like I said, alone, and that's what was going through my head. And when uh, we came close, the same thing. Polly says to me, "Oh, no hands, no hands. We're not going to touch. It's all good. It's all good." So I was very relaxed. You know, just whatever. And then next thing. He throws the sly one and and, uh, and gets out of there. He ran away. You know, I thought he was uh, Usain Bolt. He ran away so quick. But, you know, to me, again, what the hell is this? Like, are you a real man or not? Like, you know, I showed up there alone to the hometown. Would he show up alone into Moscow? Would he show up alone into Dublin? I don't fucking think so. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. I can't wait to fucking slap his motor, motorboat mouth uh, into next week. Was he at the fight on Saturday? He was supposed to, but again, the pussy didn't show up. Why didn't he show up then? Because he was terrified. He thought, oh, I was probably going to be there with my whole team and this and that, and he decided not to show up. He was, he was paid to show up. 
wow. but he didn't. He made some excuse and he was not there. Wow. So to the best of your knowledge, that was the plan. And then he doesn't show up on Saturday. Does this make you feel like the fight might not happen? That he may have rethought this bare knuckle thing after seeing what went down, down on Saturday? I, I would think that, he, trust me, if he had a chance, he would be gone a long time ago. But he is broke. That is a fact. He used to live in L.A. He ran out of money, moved back home with his parents in New York. And that's it. And that's why he's coming back to fight. He doesn't want this. This is a fact. He doesn't want this. And I fucking love this. So let's see what happens. When he shows up, and I hope he does, I'm going to pound him into next week. So earlier this morning, uh, your friend Conor McGregor tweeted about you and said, what an animal, proud of you, Artem Lobov, amazing fight. Polly's nice and quiet all of a sudden, and that's not like him. Ha ha. We want a new contract for Artem Lobov for this next bout. It has been earned and now deserved. What a great showing. Jason Knight, big respect. Um, I want to ask you about something he said there, but I just want to mention, because I had not heard from Pauly since your fight, he did respond to the tweet. I don't know if you saw his response, but just uh, around an hour ago, he wrote, first off, nothing needs to be said because I slapped him already, though I must admit, he does have the balls you clearly never had. See you in June, Artem Lobov. So he has finally responded to, I guess, the aftermath of your fight. Yeah, well, look... Uh... I just hope he shows up, you know, because this guy, we all know he can talk. He's, he's been doing nothing but talking lately. So let's fight. You know what I mean? Let's fight. Just please show up, Polly. I'm begging. Just show up. Uh, by the way, what about Rumble Johnson getting in the midst of all of that? Did you see that with one arm and still filming at the same time? That was great technique. Super heavyweight Rumble Johnson. Man, I, I honestly, when I see Rumble, <laughs> I, I can't believe this motherfucker used to make 170. How? <laughs> <laughs> my son beside him, I'm always afraid, you know, he might get a bit peckish and fucking I, I will end up being his snack. <laughs> what is his role in all of this? What, like, why was he there? What is he doing? I don't, I don't know. I don't care. But I just love having him there. What a great guy he is. And he's an animal. He's a great fighter and a really nice guy. So, you know, I love having him there. I, I love that he's part of that promotion. Uh, it's just good, 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 to, good to hang out with him. Did anything happen off camera, behind the scenes, when they were separating you guys? Anything that we need to know about the the skirmish on Tuesday of last week? Well, because I, I, I was a little bit, the emotion was high for me then, and there was a ring there. So I said, right, fuck the pay-per-view. Get in the ring now, and let's go, and let's see what happens. Of course, he was not heard then, not seen, or anything like that. Wow. What do you think this can do on, on pay-per-view? Like, how many can you sell, you think? I have no idea. What do you think? You're the expert on this, right? I mean, you're in the business, so you tell me. What do you think? I don't know what their benchmark is thus far. Like, do you know what their best one is? Like, what, what they've gone for the first five, what their best number was? Um, I don't know. I know this one is definitely going to be the best one, uh, but uh, my team is uh, working behind the doors, closed doors now to obviously uh, look into all that and see uh, what we managed to pull in on Saturday. Yeah. But in terms of Julia, I mean, as far as I know, I know the whole of Ireland wants to see him get slapped around uh, all of the U.S. wants to see him get slapped around. All of Russia wants to see him get slapped around. So that's a lot of people already. So June 22nd, does that work for you that date? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> never in my life have I pulled out, out of the fight. I know. Never. And I never, I'm ready to go. Just to give yourself some time to heal. Oh, trust me. This is nothing for me. Granite chin. Born in Russia, forged in Ireland. They don't make them like this anymore. That is true. Um, and, and so what about what, what Connor said? We want a new contract for Artem Lobov uh, for this next bout. It has been earned and now deserved. Do you agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that, was, uh, that was a nice uh, little uh, help out from my brother, Connor. <laughs> of course, uh, working, uh, like I said, behind the, you know closed doors about this contract and uh, you know making sure that I get paid well, uh, which I know I will. Uh, yeah, but the main thing here is the fight. You know, just to knock this guy out, that's going to feel so, so good. Once and for all, right? You you feel like once you do that, this whole thing with Polly will end? The, the whole drama of the past two years? Nothing will make him stop talking. Nothing will. But hopefully for a few weeks, he'll keep quiet with a broken jaw. Right. Um, and do you feel like now you're stuck? Like, okay, so you left the UFC off the loss there, but now with everyone talking about you and all the respect that you're receiving, do you feel like now this will almost have a trickle-down effect? to, you know, these other promotions that you've been talking to about MMA, kickboxing, boxing? Is that what you are feeling already? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, and I kind of knew that this was always going to happen, you know, because the thing is, I, I'm a true fighter and I always have been. 
You know, when there's all these online things, you can be shown a certain angle sometimes, you know, in a certain, you know, whatever, this, that, or the other way. But life is not just a short clip. Life is a lot longer than that. So when you keep going and you keep showing people who you truly are, eventually they realize and they see it and you get their support. And that's exactly what, what I've been seeing. You know, the, the more people get to know me, the more love I seem to receive. Yeah. When, when's the last time you felt this kind of love after a fight? It feels like it's been a while. Uh, yeah, probably the ultimate fighter, I'd say. I mean, I, I always, like I said, I always have my true fans. Right. And they always give me love. You know, I have a lot of fans in Ireland and a lot of fans in Russia. So they support me no matter what. And that's what truly matters. But uh, yeah, the kind of love that I received from everyone like this probably hasn't been since the ultimate fighter. And and do you suspect, you feel like bare knuckle fighting should be legalized in all states? I mean, now it's, it's you know, it's Mississippi, it's Wyoming. Um, it, it still has an up hill climb do you feel like this will be something that will be accepted like mma has been or will it forever be kind of on the fringes because of you know because of the well, results I'm, of the fights it should be it should be because number one if you actually look back you know all the belts every single boxing belt ufc belts all the belts they started from a bare knuckle belt in 1882 john sullivan won the first ever uh bare knuckle belt and then all the other belts started from that so this is the true origin of the, of the belts and the sport comes from the bare knuckle. And in terms of, like I said, damage, if you look at it, if you can look past this, because like I said, visually it looks bad, but in terms of brain damage, which has been clearly this, the most serious issue, you know, this is a lot safer than boxing and a lot safer than, uh, than MMA. I, 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 and let's be honest, just the look, we shouldn't be looking at just the way it looks because look at the uh, uh, professional uh, football, mm. you know, they don't look, Nothing bad, you know, after after the after the games. But the career average career in in, uh, in in that sport is only two years, because the amount of brain damage they receive is incredible. So to me, th this is a lot safer. So why not? Why shouldn't it be accepted? It should be accepted everywhere. So I hope that the Nevada State Commission look at this and they finally legalize, uh, legalize it in Vegas. You know, let's 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 look at the facts here. Let's not make any stupid mistakes. We we'll look at the facts. Look at the research. Look what the neurosurgeons are saying, and 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 based on that, they should be making a decision. And and so just to be clear, you're saying it's safer than boxing because it's all really cosmetic. You're you're not actually pounding the head as much because in boxing you have exactly. the protection, and and so that you don't feel it with your hands. So you're going to keep going, keep going, right? Exactly. You throw a lot more punches, and it, also you're doing it for 36 minutes. You know, here you're doing it for 10 minutes. Right. This all will go away in about a week or two, and I'm going to be looking. Uh, pretty once again, but the brain damage that what stays with you for the rest of your life, and that's the the real issue. That's what uh, people should really be looking at. And in terms of brain damage, this sport is a lot safer than boxing and a lot safer than MMA. Okay, one last one for you, Artem. And again, thank you so much for this. I believe this was your first fight as a dad, correct? Yes, correct. Congratulations to you and your partner, Mazeltov. I'm so happy for you guys. Do you feel different as a fighter? Like, do you feel like you're fighting for different things? Your motivation is different. Absolutely. I am a father feeding his cub now. And there's one more thing, Ariel. Before I go, I would like to do this for all the fighters in the world. You know, uh, you, I always uh, you know, say that I'm trying to help all the fighters. But that's one thing that we can all do now to truly help the fighters. What is this shit where they pay you show money and then a win bonus? That is the biggest bullshit I have ever heard. You know, because my expenses don't change whether I win or I lose the fight. You know, I put on still the same show. And also in terms of ticket sales, the tickets are already sold. So whether I lose or win doesn't affect the ticket sales. So why should I take half my pay? You know what I mean? If I didn't win the fight, especially when it's only a decision or something. That is the biggest bullshit ever. So I'm telling to all the fighters right now, listen, if you already have a contract, you have to respect that. So you have to fight it out. But when you're getting a new contract, do not let them give you the stupid contract where it's show and uh, and the win bonus. You should be getting a flat fee, which should be the combination of them two, and that's what you should be receiving. And I'm asking you, as the media as well, to back anybody up that uh, runs into issues where the promoter tries to give them that other contract of show and pay money. And I tell them as well, if you ever run into problems like this, tag me on Twitter and I will back you up as well. And you, Ariel, 
Don't try to hide on this one as well, because oh. if you do, I'm gonna pull you right out of the bush by your famous nose. What do you? Shalom, brother. My, my, first of all, that was an incredible rant. Second of all, I have been saying this for five years, Artem, pissing off everyone. The show win system is antiquated. It's unfair. It's the only sport that has this. That you guys are being treated like show ponies, where they bring you out and they say, "Oh, if you don't fight, if you don't," but by the way, your guy Feldman was trying to do the same thing. This is this is this is not right. You guys deserve to know how much you're making the moment you step into that ring, cage, wherever it may be. So I couldn't agree with you more. And I've been saying it for the past five, five years, but from your lips to God's ears, I will back you, my friend. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. You're the man, Artem. Rest up. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for doing this and safe travels home. Thank you so much, Ariel. What a legend. Artem Lobov with the pipe bomb before he says goodbye there. Couldn't agree more with that. Show win. No more. End it. We're starting to see a bit of a movement there. Let's let's get behind the goat Artem Lobov.